All right, guys. Been wanting to do this one for a while. It's U.S. made Buck 420 and China made Buck 420. And these did go There we go. You can see this one's been tested. This is the Vantage. And this one has also been tested. These both had the same amount of sharpenings before I tested either one of them. But I was really curious to see what was the difference going to be between these two and testing. This was part of a Christmas pack that someone gave to me this past Christmas. And yes, it's made in China. I don't believe it has a model name. It is model number 400. And then the Vantage Model 345 made in the US so go ahead and speed up the cutting real quick and then we'll come back and talk about both of these see how they did how they sharpened things like that All right, now that we watched that, go ahead and talk about what the hardness on these was, how they sharpened, so on. So, start out with this one. Kurt did test this one twice, and even though those two divots are not very far apart, it did test one at 52 and the other one at 54. So kind of explains a lot we'll cover that in a minute and then this one the US done one both of those tested at 57 so we'll go ahead and put this one aside first the China done 420 that who knows how soft it is as it gets down toward the edge since that's a two point spread in well less than a quarter of an inch. So as normal, because I've had that other Vantage for quite some time, I went ahead and sharpened this four times before I tested it to match the other one. On the first test, I got 25 feet fine edge. 18 feet working edge for a total of 43 feet yeah pretty pretty disappointing sharpen it again all that the second test 26 feet fine edge 
16 feet working edge for a total of 42 feet. Now, surprisingly enough, obviously this is going to sharpen pretty easy. It is not very hard, but it sharpens way better than other stuff that I've had that I've known has been really soft. And surprisingly enough, this is not very difficult to deburr. So, I mean, while it does have that going for it, you're not going to get a whole lot of work done with this. So, now on to the Vantage 420 done in the US. Like I said, this had already been sharpened four times. Same as the other one. So I ran this 420. I have no idea since it is not marked if this is the BOS heat treat or not. I have no idea. The first test, the Vantage did 92 feet fine edge, 17 feet working edge for a total of 109 feet. Sharpened it again, same way. And yes, both of these are 15 degrees per side. This is just a pretty thin hollow grind, except for at the tip. And the other one is also a hollow grind. It's just a couple thousandths thicker than this one is. So on the second test of this one, 93 feet fine edge, 16 feet working edge for a total of 109 feet. So this may be 420. This fell in where a whole lot of D2 falls in. So this is like the numbers out of this 420 are average D2 edge retention numbers in a one inch section. I have used this, like I said, it had been sharpened fourth edge was the test on. I had sharpened this a couple times and actually used it back a long time ago and it doesn't do too bad in actual use. I would prefer to use this over detail. Definitely. Sharpens up easy. Deburrs real easy. The edge comes up nice and crisp. I have no complaints about this. I have no idea what the price is on this at this point. I've had this for a long time and I got it in a trade probably two or three years ago. So, China done versus US done. You can see how poorly this one did. I believe these came in a $20 pack. It also had, I think, a little slip joint or something in with it. I don't exactly recall. So that's it. I do have a little buck fixed blade in 420 and a big one. At some point I will get around to testing those. They're both US made also and see if they compare to this one. Are they as good? Are they better? Are they worse? Do they all average about the same? We're going to find out soon. So that's all I have for this 420 right now. I don't have any Kershaw 420 at the moment to run and compare to it. Otherwise, I would. That's all I have for this one. As always, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.